Hi guys, welcome back. It's another week, so we've got another video for you this week. Um, thanks to all of you that took the time to watch, um, like, or even comment on the previous video. Um, it's really appreciated, and I enjoyed reading some of your comments and commenting back, um, understanding how you are using the tools. So it's really good. Um, thanks for that again. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hi, my name's Dan Mockridge. Um, I'm a design consultant based in the UK and uh, I created the channel with Dan Kemp. Um, we just started the channel to share some of our design uh, knowledge and have a bit of fun and get to grips with YouTube. If you're enjoying the channel or any of the content, please like, subscribe and hit the notification button as we have content coming weekly and uh, yeah, we're enjoying the journey. So this week we're going to continue the um, block theme in SolidWorks and we're going to look at how you can create your custom logo using blocks and this will open up loads of avenues of different ways you can use it. Um, at the end, I will show you an example, and this will be of particular interest to guys and girls who enjoy a cup of tea. Um, I personally really enjoy a cup of tea and uh, helps me get through the working day. So we're going to look at how you can incorporate your um, block logo and create um, embossed, debossed logos on a mug example. So that should be uh, quite exciting. And then uh, next week, we're going to take a look at how you can incorporate the logo design and go into creating um, custom drawing templates. So hopefully that will be of use to some of you guys out there. All right, guys, let's uh, jump in and take a look. All right, guys, I'm um, just going to come in and do a new part then. Select the front plane and go sketch. And this is similar to the layout sketch. So just going to show you how to import an image. So tools, sketch tools, uh, sketch picture. I'm going to use the design mountain logo. You can obviously use whatever logo you want, your custom logo. Uh, and this is just to give us the uh, background that we're going to trace over to create the block. So there we go, it's quite a big image. I'm just going to Put it down to 100 aspect ratio is locked so it'll auto um, set it to 100 i'm gonna go minus 50 and minus 50 to get it central and now we've just got a trace i'm going to do two sketches i'm going to sketch the uh logo itself and then i'm going to show you how to do the text so um i'm not going to talk through this because it's quite um sort of laborious but I'm gonna fast forward it on the video so I'll start speaking to you again when we do the text
so as you can see we've got our logo there so now we're going to look at the text so we're going to come on the front sketch front plane and sketch uh, a line and this is just going to be a reference for our text in a minute so we're going to make a construction select it come up to the text tool and obviously put in whatever your text is but for us it's design mountain and come use come to use document font i checked it out earlier so i found one that was similar and then you've got the width here and that gets us somewhere handy it's unlikely you're going to get it perfect but what you then do is select the text right click dissolve sketch text and it makes the lines editable so i'm just going to spend a bit of time editing it so when you're happy with your text editing what we do is um, you, you essentially want all of the sketch geometry on one sketch so we're going to select um, the front plane we're going to go sketch and we're going to convert um, the entity so we're going to convert the text and it's converted it there and we're going to convert the logo so we should have all of the sketch data on one face then we're going to select it all and we're going to go make block go okay and there you go uh, there you go the blocks done and then as previously save the block in a location um, that you want on your computer and you're going to come out of that one and then here is one that i created earlier so um, you can insert your block um, you can insert as many blocks as you like insert tools blocks insert and there you go look and the nice thing about it is as well once you've took the time and it is time consuming to get it nice um you can scale your block up and down however you want and then um i'm, I'm going to show you an example of where you can use this now and uh, here's a mug i created earlier and this is an example of how you can um, import the block and use it to cut um, and it looks quite nice so I've imported the block and I've selected the contours that I want sort of what's to cut out so there you have it that is another um, use of blocks and as i've said before it's a super powerful tool um, if you weren't aware of it get familiar with it and use it because there's so many instances where it can really um really be useful and let me know you know do do you have you used blocks for this sort of thing before um do you know of any better ways to create logos i mean i've always known it's quite time consuming you have to physically tr essentially trace your logo but you know you guys might have some better suggestions out there i'd be interested to know um and if you haven't used blocks for this sort of thing before let me know you're going to give it a go um are you excited about using this um and next week i mentioned it previously we're going to have a look at how you can then take your um, our custom logo block and we can use that to create custom drawing templates, which might be handy for some of you. 
so yeah all right guys once again thanks for watching if you found the video helpful please like subscribe and hit the notification button as always there'll be more content coming next week cheers guys see you soon bye